with Mr. Rob Davis at ATSA headquarters with uh, Mercer St Strategic Alliance. Rob came and spoke today to the ATSA staff. Rob, thank you so much for coming in today. Can you give a brief overview of what you said? I can. Uh, just uh, provided a briefing on the impact of connected and automated vehicles on the roadway safety industry and focused on the different technologies that are at play, the different challenges that are facing the infrastructure as it attempts to interface with these automated vehicle systems, and some of the opportunities that are in front of us as we work on ensuring that ATSA is a leader and a, uh, intimately involved in how new policies are developed and new rules and regulations are uh, nurtured and enacted. Can you give a little bit of an overview of why you believe or why it is important for ATSA members alike to pay attention to this type of uh, technologies that are arising? Well, first of all, I, I speak to a lot of uh, chief executive officers of state transportation agencies. The first question I ask them is, what is the, is it the first, second, or third question that the governor asks you uh, related to, is it related to connected and automated vehicles? and they say it's the first. And so, what is the state doing to prepare? Well, preparation means what are they doing about pavement markings? What are they doing about uh, having work zones that can communicate with automated vehicle systems? What about traffic signals? What about road signs? Um, and so, eventually, who will they need to turn to but to the roadway safety industry? We're going to have to have the ability to communicate effectively with these new systems that are highly evolving, constantly changing. And so, for, if you're an ATSA member company and you're involved in anything related to traffic control devices, you have to ask yourself, are you prepared for what's coming? The ability to communicate not just with humans, but to communicate with a machine vision system. Now, do you see anything that ATSA members can do now to uh, <clears throat> stay informed or I know ATSA has a, a ton of outreach, but is there anything that they can do aside from uh, ATSA communications or things that we're doing uh, here at, at the office? That's an excellent question. If you are part of an ATSA member division, so let's say you're a sign manufacturer, um, you should become a friend of the technical committee that associates itself with your business. That's not hard to do. You simply send an email to anyone on ATSA staff and they'll figure out how to get it wherever it needs to go. But Becoming a friend means you get to all the communications from that technical committee, from that division. It will make you aware of what they're working on and of the various subcommittees that could be out there. And also, it will just keep you abreast of, of how that technical committee in, is working on and issues specifically related to you. Now, as the Pavement Marking Committee Chair, I encourage all members of, that are involved in pavement markings to do the same. Join up as a friend of the committee that way you can join any technical committee or, or, or subcommittee or task forces and participate and stay abreast of what's going on. And the other thing is actually read the, the materials that ATSA sends. When you get an email from ATSA, don't just delete it or move it to the side. Skim through it and make sure that you're getting the information. And then begin to share that with you, people within your company so that you can make sure that your team is thinking about this future as you work on research and development or prepare uh, your company for that future. So it sounds pretty easy. Read, listen, and get involved. Get involved. Perfect. Yes, get involved.